Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. My name is Dave Hayes and this is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my last review I did on an action camera was my Acaso V50 Pro. Now I don't have the camera with me because I'm actually using it. I have it set up. Um, that's how much I like this camera. I use it a lot. The uh, image stabilization in it is outstanding, the image quality is outstanding, and you're talking about a GoPro-like camera for about the $100 mark on up to about $120, $130. I've seen them as high as about $130. And to be honest with you, I like the brand, Acaso. From what I've seen coming out of Acaso, uh, they put out pretty much nothing but good. And believe me, I'm not getting paid by or endorsed by Acaso to say this. As you guys know, everything that I review on the channel, I purchase myself um, and I do that so I am not beholding to the companies that I am reviewing a product for. Well, uh, recently, like within the last uh, three or four months, they come out with a new product and it is the Acaso Brave 7 LE. Now this is a 4K action camera. Uh, it'll shoot 4K 30 frames per second. It does have a uh, 20 megapixel uh, sensor in it. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi. Uh, it does have a touch screen just like my other Acaso. And it has image stabilization 2.0. So we're going to find out what that is. It comes with a remote control just like my other Acaso did. And this one says it is waterproof up to 131 feet. So I'm guessing that means without any waterproof case. Uh, I think it's like the GoPro. The uh, GoPro is waterproof up to 30 feet without putting it in any kind of case whatsoever. Uh, again, this one says 131 feet. So uh, we will dig into that a little bit further, but I'm showing it to you here. I'm showing you the, the site here. Uh, but this is it right here. This is the Acaso Brave 7LE. And uh, I figured I'd bring you guys along with me while I open this up. Now, I'm not too sure how far we're going to get into on this video today, uh, but what I don't finish <laughs> on the video today, we will definitely be making other videos on this in the very near future. So, what do you say we go ahead and get on with this review of the Acaso Brave uh, 7LE? And as always, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button and share my videos. It really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. That way you get a notification of my videos as soon as I release them. Okay, for those of you that know me or have watched any of my videos in the past, you know how I feel about Acaso. I love the Dragon Touch cameras. Uh, those are more if you're in that really, really budget mind and you can only afford right around $50, uh, then I would say definitely go with the Dragon Touch uh, Vision K4. That is their newest release. Uh, I have both the Vision K3 and the Vision K4. But the workhorse for me is my Acaso. And I have a GoPro Hero 7 Black right here, as you guys can see. Um, and, and I use it, and I'm not going to lie to you, when it comes to the quality between uh, the GoPro and my Acaso V50 Pro, the GoPro wins hands down. I mean, I love my GoPro. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to sell you guys that the Go, that the Acaso is as good as the GoPro Hero 7 Black, because it's not. But, uh, for a camera that only costs about $100, you are getting a ton of quality out of a hundred dollar action camera and it has almost all the features that my GoPro has and possibly a little bit more um, I think where the GoPro edges it out uh, would definitely be on uh, the image quality itself maybe even a little bit on the image stabilization and uh, maybe even a little bit on the audio but again the Acaso V50 Pro uh, does pretty damn good and it does so well again I use it uh, in a lot of the videos that you guys actually watch 
So, when I saw the Brave 7LE uh, launched here not too long ago, and I saw all the features that it was coming with, I had to try this camera. Um, and I, try, I try not to watch some of the reviews that they have out online, uh, because I don't want to get any biases towards it. Uh, because, remember, a lot of the people out there online that are reviewing these cameras, uh, I like to call them camera snobs. Uh, they're being given these cameras by the companies, and they are used to having high-end cameras all the time. Uh, but when you're somebody like me who has to go out and purchase everything on your own, and all this is coming out of your own pocket, you tend to look at things a little differently. Yes, I want as much quality as I can get, absolutely. But I do understand that if I'm only going to pay around $100 for a camera, it's not going to be a $400 GoPro. It's just not going to be. Um, but with that in mind, the features they have on this camera are very close to the features on the GoPro Hero 8 Black. It's got a front-facing monitor on it, <laughs> which, you know, I don't think there are any other action cameras out there uh, in this price range that actually has that. So, uh, what do you say? We just go ahead and get into unboxing this and let's see what actually comes with this camera. Okay, I do want to tell you guys that Acaso did reach out to me and uh, through a couple emails and they did say uh, that as soon as their Brave 7LE uh, dropped, they were going to let me know. So, if I was interested, you know, I could go ahead and purchase it. Uh, I think they wanted to send it to me, but again, I don't like... Um, you know, companies sending me products. So I'm going to get my knife out because I'm not sure if I'm going to need it or not, but we'll see. I think it's just got a, yeah, this just slips right off, so I don't think I'm going to need my knife. And my guess is this is just a standard box now. Okay, oh, it's got a magnetic clip. It's got a little magnetic clip here. So, we've got that out of the way. Let me get my knife out of the way. I love this knife, by the way, guys. Uh, I can highly recommend this, too. You can pick these up at Walmart. They're outstanding. Uh, it just goes around your neck, and they're nice to have. Okay, it's got a little magnetic closure right here. And that's pretty nice. And that is opened up. Guys, don't mind my table flopping around. But, there you go. You can see... Uh, that is what you're going to be greeted with. There's the box. Uh, here's the action camera in its little shell. Or in its, here's the action camera in its little uh, waterproof housing. Um, that is the camera area. Uh, this here again, over here is going to be the uh, package. This is going to be the box where all the accessories are at. Wow, I do like the way they actually package this. So everything comes in these little pouches. I'll just go ahead and open them up. Well, this is number three. Let's go ahead and open them like they have them numbered. Two. One. And that is pretty much it for the packaging. So uh, I'm going to go by the number. They, uh, they have a number one on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up first and just dump it out. There is a lot of gear in here. Uh, one thing I love about Acaso and Dragon Touch is you get a ton of accessories right out of the gate. With GoPro, come on GoPro, um, we're spending three times the amount that we're spending on your product uh, that we are on this Acaso, and they're giving us way more in uh, attachments. These things here, they don't cost you hardly anything. This stuff you guys should be including with your cameras, especially the amount of money we're paying to be able to own one of your cameras. So come on GoPro, start putting in more accessories than what you do include with your cameras. So uh, again, kudos to Acaso for that. I mean, they just have a plethora of items, handlebar uh, mount, uh, Velcro straps. Uh, this would be for attaching onto a uh, tripod. Or something like that that's a quarter by uh, 20 I think it's quarter by 20 uh, threads and that would go again on a tripod like what I'm using right here so that's nice 
Okay, package number two. Okay, that is zip ties. Believe me, they come in handy when you're trying to figure out a way to attach an action camera to, uh, you know, to your body or wherever you're trying to video whenever you're using one. Um, they have a little steel cable and three zip ties, four zip ties and a steel cable. And of course, this is the charging cable that comes with it. And it is USB, just standard USB. And a cleaning cloth and it looks like some stickers. Uh, these are adhesion stickers that you can use to put on the bottom of any of these uh, mounts here. They're just extra, so whenever these stickers go bad, you can just replace them. So that is package two. And then in package three is going to be batteries, I'm guessing, and charging. And of course, Acaso always sends their cameras with two batteries. Again, GoPro. How about some extra batteries too, you know? <laughs> you get one battery with a GoPro. You get one battery, the standard mount that it comes in, and a charging cable. That's it. So, uh, that is the remote control that will allow you to hit record or take a picture, and that's all this does. It doesn't do anything else but uh, allow you to push the button and start recording, or push the button and take a picture. And it does come in handy. And then, of course, last but not least is going to be the charger, which, again, uh, this will plug into this and allow you to charge up your batteries. And I will tell you, from my experience, the batteries in my Acaso V50 Pro are lasting very well. I'm not having any issues with either of them. So that's pretty much it. That's what you get out of the gate. Um, we're going to go ahead and open this up now and have a look at the camera. Uh, I just want to say again, guys, you can't, do not expect GoPro quality, but I will say again that Acaso uh, does a great job at making these, uh, at making their cameras as nice as they can make them. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see it. Okay, well, there you go. You guys can see it there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and peel off the screen covers. Now, I love the fact that you get this front-facing screen, and I try to peel this off with my stroke hand here, <laughs> and I can't, so I'll have to get it with this one. There we go, and of course, we have one on the back yet. We'll get that one off here now this what I do like about this this is uh, this is gonna have the touch screen on it which I like now I'm gonna put a battery in it I'm hoping that the battery has a little bit of a charge to it now I noticed that they're making it kind of like the GoPro is made but again one of the things that I love that Acaso does and all the other action cameras uh, the cheaper action cameras the ones coming in from China do is they put that quarter by 20 thread mount right in the bottom of the camera. GoPro, why can't you do that? You know, why do we have to buy all your accessories when when it would be easy just to put a quarter by 20 thread uh, screw right there so we could just screw, screw it right on a tripod? That would be awesome. And if this thing is waterproof without putting it in a case like I think it is, don't quote me on that, I'm gonna research it because you guys are learning this just the same as me. Um, like I said, I just got this. I'm going to be doing more research as this video goes. I will give you more information on it. But yeah, I, you know, if you're going to spend three, you know, three times the money on a camera, these are things that GoPro, you know, you, you should be adding it onto your camera. So anyways, it's nice that they did that. And we're going to slide this open. I'm thinking it opens like the GoPro. So you push that button. Okay, yeah, it does. You push the button, slide it forward, and tilt that up. Um, I don't have a card. I'm going to have to get a memory card here real quick. You want to put the highest quality memory cards that you can in your cameras. If you want good quality video out, you have to have good quality capture material. So they make these memory cards in all different kinds, from super cheap to fairly expensive. 
I would spend the extra money and get the expensive ones because they will uh, give you better video quality. Now, I think one of the reasons they moved it to the inside like that, as opposed to having it on the outside, is because, yeah, it's supposed to have a fairly waterproof case without having to actually put it in this waterproof case, you know, that it comes with. So, I'm going to see if there's any battery in it. So, let me try to power it up if I remember which one it is. There it goes. And it ha it's three quarters of a battery. So, that's awesome. I'm going to hit the record button. I hope this is the record button. Okay, so we are now recording on the Acaso, um, and this is what you can expect indoors under some really good lighting. Um, I will be doing another video. Eventually, this video has gone way too long as it is, but I'll be taking it outside. I'll be going through all the features. I'll be showing you how to use that front screen on this, and um, uh, you're, you're seeing what it looks like because I can't even see it right now. So uh, hopefully it looks pretty good. Uh, I'll have to wait and see what it looks like in editing. Um, so let's go ahead and get on with the video. Uh, now after I did a little bit of research, I did figure out how to switch from the back camera to the front camera. Uh, as you guys can see right now, it is showing front camera and all you have to do is press the M button on the top. Press and hold it for a couple seconds, you'll hear a beep. And that switches to the back. Now you can't run both views at the same time. You can only run one. So you press it until it beeps and it switches to the front view. Now I'm not sure if the front view is touch control or not. No. So there are no touch settings on the front of the camera. But I mean it's nice. It gives you at least something to frame up your shot. You know so you can see yourself. I'm going to go ahead and hit record again. Uh, record button is the one furthest to the outside. And there you go, and now I'm recording it and I can actually uh, frame myself. So uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to add into this video. Let's go ahead and get back to the main video. Okay, so here we are uh, outside doing a quick vlogging test. Uh, I do have image stabilization on and I'm shooting in 2.7K, 60 frames per second. Uh, so we're going to see how the image stabilization holds up um, at 60 frames per second. I'm not going to do a full video demonstration uh, for you guys on this video. That will be the next video. I will go through each one of the uh, video shooting modes. We'll, we'll, we'll start out with 4K 30, then we'll go 2.7K both 60 and 30, and then I will drop down to 1080p and we'll do all of the ranges in 1080p. And uh, this does go to 120 frames in 1080p so hopefully it's a little smoother than my other Acaso. Uh, I will say I like the idea that it has a front screen on it because it does uh, give you that ability to frame yourself and know uh, if you're in frame all the time. Um, and this is what the audio sounds like on this action camera outside. So audio test one two three, audio test one two three. Now if the audio sounds pretty decent I'm just going to go ahead and use it throughout the whole demonstration uh, of me being here outside testing the camera. Uh, but if it's not that good, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the audio from my Zoom uh, H1n uh, and of course my Sony lapel mic. So this concludes the quick video test I wanted to do outside real quick and I'm going to go ahead and slow this down and do a spin. And that's it for the outside vlogging test. I wish the weather would have been a little nicer. Look at those skies. Um, this is not the optimum weather to be testing an action camera in, but uh, hopefully it turns out. I know my other Acaso shot beautifully in poor lighting conditions outside. So uh, let's go ahead and get back to the video. Well, everybody, I hope you liked the video. I tried to keep it as short as I could. Now, I will be taking this camera outside and doing and putting it through its paces. Um, that's pretty much all I have. If you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. That does help me out a lot. I know uh, since the whole uh, coronavirus uh, thing's been going on, I've been getting a lot of viewership, and I appreciate all of you out there who have watched my videos. Um, and if you like what you saw, think about subscribing because it does help me out. Uh, 
For those of you out there that have been with me from the start, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I do appreciate each and every one of you. I do want to bring up one more time that when I hit that uh, 5,000 uh, subscriber count, I am going to be giving away my Canon T6i to one of you uh, lucky winners out there. So uh, be looking for that drawing as soon as I hit that 5,000 subscriber mark. So uh, with that being said, that's pretty much all I have. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you on the next one.